Welcome to Bunny Fish Crafts. I'm your host, Heather, known as Bunny Fish on Ravelry and Plurk. This is episode 5, Crafting ADD. Grab some sticks and strings and come sit with me. Welcome back to returning viewers, and welcome if you're new. It's exciting to see you guys. Well, it's exciting to think that you're out there. Anyway, first is the knit slash crochet along. We are doing dolls, animals, monsters, whatever, for Craft Hope Project 19. The toys will be distributed to children who were affected by Hurricane Sandy. I have two that I finished. You might notice, or you might recognize this little guy, Grumposaurus, by Kat Lewinsky, um, using green and purple acrylics. And I also made a little owl which is a little out of shape because my kids think that these toys are awesome and want to keep them for themselves. This is roughly based off of the Austin Owl Amigurumi by Allison Hoffman um, using leftover scraps of brown and this cream color. I say roughly because I greatly increased the number of stitches that were happening and uh, Okay, so basically only the idea comes from her. This little fabric stomach came from her, and the rest I kind of just winged it. Because the owls that she made were really, really small, and I wanted something at least as big as my palm. So there you go. There he is. Um, for the knitting craft, knitting crochet along, um, it's going to run through noon Eastern Time on January 7th, 2013. Um, please tag your projects Bunnyfish Softies, B-U-N-N-I-P-H-I-S-H-S-O-F-T-I-E-S. And the prize will be up to $7 for a toy pattern of your choice, viable through Ravelry. And I also have two more projects going for that. This is going to be another owl. I'm holding the yarn um, three. It's worse than weight yarn, but I'm holding it tripled. And that is, like I said, going to be another owl. And this is going to be, I don't know, something with ears and arms and legs. I haven't decided. I'm making this up as I go. Hopefully someone will like it because I already like it and I'm not going to be able to keep it because I'm making it to, for these kids. So hopefully one of them likes it. I hope to see more people joining in in the um, knit slash crochet along, but if not, Gwen, you're going to win because you're the only person who's talked so far. So hopefully more of you will find time. I know it's hard because Christmas crafting is going on, but this took me a couple hours. So if you have a couple hours, you can make a toy, which will be great for these kids who are affected by Hurricane Sandy. Can you imagine, right before the holidays, having to deal with all of your stuff being gone? Yeah. Yeah, me either. Um, I have a couple, well, I have a few finished objects. I have two cowls, but they're already in bags, and I don't want to fight with bags again, for Hillary of the Hippie Penguin black and white acrylic and a wool synthetic blend, the brown, the same thing that I made Rose's cowl out of. They are two by one ribbed, um, nothing too fancy, just something I can do quick and easy. And then I made an afghan square for a comfort afghan. This is Shape Shifting in 12 by Aurora in. Um, you might recognize this from Afghan squares that I did last week. I used Red Heart Super Saver in light pink and pretty in pink and then Karen One Pound in soft pink US size H 5.0 millimeter. That is all that I finished this week. I mean that's not bad, it's five things done, but I just feel like I didn't get anything done because I didn't get anything Nerd Wars. 
for the Nerd Wars challenges completed, and I like to have more than just one thing submitted on the 10th. But it's fine. It'll be okay. It'll, they'll all get submitted. They're all being worked on. On to Rachel's Afghan. I only did two squares this week. I only did two six-inch squares this week. These are the October 6-inch square. They're called Spider in the Barn by Sally Ives. U.S. size G, 4 millimeter. So the reason why I only have two squares done for the afghan is because I misplaced my size H hook last week. Last time I recorded, my hook disappeared. And since H is the hook that I use the most for afghan squares and the like, because I use a lot of Red Heart Super Saver, etc., um, it's the, I have a lot of them somewhere, hidden in couches maybe, I have no idea. So I didn't have an H that I could pull out of somewhere and use, and about half of the square patterns that I had left required size H. So bummed, I was like, well, I'll just have to get a new hook and work on them, but then I got a new hook and I I started one. This is a 12 inch and I started it, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling the afghan this week. I'm going to have to feel the afghan this week though because it's almost time to gift it. The 22nd, 20, yeah, 22nd is not that far away. So I have five squares left. They're all 12 inch squares plus putting it together and doing three rounds of border, one in each color. Those squares were made out of Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Bright Yellow and Banna's Choice by Lion Brand in the colorways Scarlet and Black. Um, my sock yarn blanket, I only used one colorway of yarn this week. Premier Serenity sock weight in the colorway Chili. Um, on to works in progress. I worked on cat bed number five for my Nerd Wars dissertation based on One Skein Pet Bed by Chris Porter using size J 6mm hook. Um, if you heard that fussing, I'm really, really sorry. Mara is pushing three molars right now. She, for the past week or so, has been only sleeping a few hours at a time, including overnight, with huge gaps of awake in between. So um, she needs to nap right now needs to happen for her sanity and for my sanity and she doesn't want to. So moms out there, dads too, I, I know you know what I'm going through right now. I have a half, half finished object. This is a sock for my niece, Cecilia. It's the ruby-ish slippers. Um, you can kind of see the bow detailing right here. Up here is stockinet, and down here is reverse stockinet, and then the, um, the bow is worked in twisted stitches, which you can see really well in person, but I'm finding that it doesn't photograph very well. But hopefully when I turn it in for the Nerd Wars Challenge, they will be able to see what I'm trying to show them. I actually have started on the second sock, but I tried something different. I tried a different stitch pattern for the the bow to see if I could make it stand out more, and I'm not liking how it's turning out, so I'm going to rip back, I don't know, those seven rows or something that I worked on it. Hopefully they will be done next week. This is an original pattern. I'm making it up as I go along, basically. Um, it's Lion Brand Sock Ease. In size 2, 2.75 needles. The colorway is cotton candy. And 
I sent the picture. I had my son try on this sock because his foot is only a little bit bigger than Cecilia's. I had him try it on and then I sent a picture to my sister and she has decreed that Cecilia will love them so that's good to hear. I'm hoping she does because they're a lot of work for such a little bitty sock. I've never really like really designed a sock before. I've taken things from other patterns and slapped them on a sock, but I've never thought about how do I make this sock look like what I want it to. So this is my first design and uh, it's going okay. I have mom's pocket socks. They are through the heel flap and the heel turn. These stitch holders how it's holding the stitches for the pockets and I'm using I don't remember what this stitch pattern is called but it's like it reminds me of moss stitch except it's got two rounds of knitting in between each rib change I will look up the stitch pattern next time I grab down my book and let you know what it is. It's worked on size US 2, 2.75 needles, and this is Yarn B Walkaway in the colorway Ballet. I know, surprisingly similar looking to the socks that I fixed last week for Amanda. That's because hers were moss stitch, and these are like cheaty moss stitch where I don't have to do quite so much moss stitch. And I really like them. They are much nicer to work than the moss stitch ones were. And I'm excited to be so close to done on pair seven of mom's socks because now that one side is, one part is just going to be straight knitting, they should fly and these will definitely be done by next week as will Cecilia's socks started cowl number three for Hillary because I said I wanted to make three to have sent out tomorrow. This is um, worked on US 7 4.5 millimeter needles and it's also two by one rib and it is bright orange acrylic. I would never wear this cowl however I had a friend in high school who had a hat in this color and he wore it every day and then he lost it and he freaked out and just wanted it back. So there are people out there who will wear this color and uh, hopefully I'm making it for one of those people right now. I just uh, I worked with a lot of black this week and my acrylic stash is growing very thin recently. I've been doing a lot of charity crocheting and knitting. So I think I think I'm left with black, like seven one pound skeins of black, um, five regular size skeins of white, a couple skeins of like a bluish and one skein of red and you know a couple pinks or something. It's just I don't have a lot of color variety but I did have this orange so I decided to go with the orange and hopefully one of the people there will enjoy it and appreciate it. I mean at the very least it's very bright and cheery against the gloom. It's pretty gloomy here today. I don't know if it's gloomy everywhere. I wish that we at least had snow, but no, we just have wet, cold. I don't mind winter when there's snow, but this whole just cold for cold's sake with no snow, not okay with that. If people who are getting snow could send some my way, I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, thanks. I didn't work on this week, you might notice. I didn't work on Amanda's socks at all, I didn't pick up the crosswords shawl, I didn't do any sewing, and I didn't do any spinning. I just really wanted to get these cowls and stuffed animals done. I need to stop with the, with the, uh, the toys, because now all I want to do is make toys. 
and I'm using all of my knitting and crocheting time to make toys. This week, finishing those two toys, and then that's it. Gotta, gotta cut it off. We'll finish this toy, and that is it for the week. My other toy will just have to wait until next week, because I need to get these squares for the afghan done. Um, and this cowl will be finished tonight, because I really want to mail the cowls out tomorrow. Because Tuesday is my post office day. It's the day that I can for sure get to the post office because Steve works a later shift. And when it's spring and fall, I can go to the post office, post office with the kids. I can walk them there. Not a big deal. It's like a 15 minute walk one way. But it's too cold to walk them right now. Mara just, she's too little. If it was just Gabriel, I'd be like, eh, it's only 15 minutes, plus then we stand inside in line for a while and warm up, but Mara's just too little. She, her, uh, her internal temperature control is only okay, it's not great. I feel like this is really, really short, so I planned a special segment that I want to do this week before I get to books and favorite things. So I'm going to clean off my table so I have some space and I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I would like to show you my sock yarn stash. I know for some of you, sock yarn stashes are huge, but mine is pretty small compared to some of the ones I've seen. Mine fits in this bag. Yes, my whole sock yarn stash is portable in one beach bag. Victoria's Secret's Naked Girls Beach Bag. So, on top, because I put it in last week, is the Nooch Fiber. And I showed you last week, so I'm not going to go into that. And the, oh, the Happy Feet yarn that I'm going to be using in January, so you'll see a bunch of that. But now, here's the rest of it. I'm so excited. I love my sock yarn stash. These, this is Red Heart Heart and Soul with Aloe in the colorway Green Envy. I got these in a swap. It was a waterfall style swap down the river, however you want to call it and my partner sent me, it was for a bag, and among the goodies, she totally spoiled me, she sent me these two skeins. I love green, and I really love this colorway, and so these will be one of the pairs of socks I'll be making myself in the next seven months. I ordered, when I ordered the black for that shawl from Knit Picks, to, uh, to make it, you know, 50, because why would you not make it 50 and have free shipping? I ordered Knit Picks. This is Stroll Fingering um, Sorbet Multi. That's the colorway. And it's this green, there we go, that's much better. Um, green, brown, and a pinky thing. I love green and pink together ridiculously much. Like, watermelon colorways are my favorite, where they have the green and pink. Even with the black in there, I'm totally okay with that. Love green and pink together. This is Serenity Sock Weight in the colorway Surf. It's blue and like a light blue, a little bit of green and some almost purpley, creamy color. All the yarn I'm showing you right this second is socks for me. This is, let's see, uh, maybe that'll show up. It's Madeline Tosh, um, oh, the ball, the tag ran away. Um, it's sock yarn, and I don't know what that is called, what her weight is, but it's in the colorway Lichen, L-I-C-H-E-N, and it's green with 
a really, really lovely pale blue in it. Let's see, isn't that, is that better? Maybe. We'll see. And I got this um, at last year's knitting group Christmas party. And I got these last year for Christmas from Steve's mom. This is Tessa's Designer Yarns. You see that label? Um, I don't know if it has a colorway, actually. It's Super Sock and Baby Yarn, and I don't see a colorway, um, but it's just lovely shades of gray. And I won this in my first Nerd Wars tournament. I was a ninja, and the person who got the most points ninjaing won, and I did all 18 projects, six per three rounds, and I also did a dissertation. So that's for me, and I'm excited about that. This is Miss Babs. The colorway is Prince. It's um, yummy hand-painted sock and baby two-ply superwash, and it is blue and gray and a little bit of black, and I uh, can see a little bit of purple right here. I bought this for my first fiber festival, which I went to this past summer with a bunch of the women from knitting. It was the only thing that I bought because I don't have a huge budget for spending things and I was thinking about buying fiber but I wasn't sure yet if I wanted to spin, so I got sock yarn. And I was thinking about maybe making my sister socks out of that, but then the, uh, the challenge came along, the personal yarn club from Traveling Sock Knitter, so I pulled that out for myself. I now have a co-host sitting next to me. Mara. She's not feeling well, so she's not going to nap. Surprise, surprise. And so she's going to be with me. This is Premier Serenity Sock Weight. This, these are the leftovers from the first pair of socks that I ever made, and um, also from another pair of socks that I made. But I think it's enough to make a, uh, a pair of smallish socks, so maybe for Mara, or even my mom. My mom has size 7 feet, and I think if I made her like inklets, that would be fine. I'm not ready to relegate such a large quantity of yarn to my blanket yet. It might come to that point if I can't figure out what to make out of it, but it's still a pretty good quantity. Um, it's the colorway purple spice. This is Premier Sock Yarn um, Paprika. I only have one skein because I got it for Christmas from Steve's mom and she only gave me the one. But it's okay. I will maybe pair it up with another and do something like, um, what is that? wave surfer. You know what I'm talking about where it's got the wave down the front? Maybe I'll pair it up with something like that or s something similar to that. Stitch surfer maybe? I can't remember. I haven't looked at the pattern in over a month. I look at too many patterns to remember them all by name. Unless I've made them and then I will probably remember. But yeah, it's really really pretty. It's got some, it's got pink stripes and then the stripes in between are white with purple flecks and blue flecks and little gray flecks and yeah, it's just really, really pretty. Definitely going to be for me, but not one of the seven pairs I'm making for myself, just for me someday. Maybe arm warmers or something if I feel that crazy and up to it. This is the Lion Brand Sockies that I was going to make socks for Steve using. The 
the colorway taffy with um, it's blue with like goldish streaks and darker brown streaks in it. But this week he told me that he, while he liked the socks that I made him, the DNA cable socks you might remember using the brown, he likes the socks a lot and he thinks they're really cool, but he doesn't love the yarn the way that he loves the yarn in the other pair of socks I made for him. So I bought this for him, but I'm probably not going to use it for him. Um, my sister has an ex-boyfriend who she still lives with. It's complicated, um, but he wants me to make him socks, so maybe I'll use this for him. I am making him pay me for it, them, though, because he and I are not best friends forever, and I'm only doing it because I love my sister to pieces. I got this yarn um, as a gift last year, earlier this year, I can't remember, from my best friend's mom. She's the one who sent me this stuff. This came in my first shipment of yarn ever, and she's the one who sent me um, Sensational Knitted Socks by Careful by Charlene um, Church. She sent me that book and this yarn and um, another two hanks of Happy Feet in a purple and red and green and blue colorway, I think it was. can't remember for sure. I made those socks for my sister, so I don't have them. And they don't name their colorways, they're just numbers. This is Mara. She's teething and wretched because she's teething. But um, she sent this last year, I think, and it's Red Heart Stardust in the colorway purple. And purple is my sister's color, so I will be making something for her out of this. Probably socks, purple sparkly socks. I'm pretty sure that this is sockable yarn. Sorry, kids got up. We have changed locations. I'm kneeling on the ground in front of my bedroom window. The blinds are up. Molly's freaking out because she can now see outside. And that is my clean laundry behind us. I know there are three steps to doing laundry. Wash, dry, and then put away. The put away part is really, really hard for me. But I'm going to work on it. Molly, you'll be okay. So I only had one more yarn to show you. This is... Yarn Bee Walkaway in the colorway Tango. I bought two skeins of this to make socks for my friend, but it turns out I only needed one to make her a full pair of like sporty toe socks. So I have this, and I'll probably make her a second pair out of it. Okay, I didn't have any new things, but um, I have to tell you a story. So what had happened was, <laughs> my sister came to visit, and I showed her some Etsy shops that had stuff that I was really, really interested in. Molly, please stop. Please stop. And um, there was this one yarn that I was like, oh, that would be perfect for socks for Melissa, one of our friends. And she was like, well, you should tell Melissa to get it. So I Facebook Melissa. I was like, you should buy this for me so I can make you socks. Totally joke, whatever, not a big deal. Just a... Uh, because Amanda was sitting right there, and it was, I think that was still ridiculous late at night, so I was highly successful to her Mama. guest appearance by Gabriel, um, to her suggestions. I have a new thing, and I wasn't expecting having a new thing, but I have a new thing. Um, oh, I don't think it says the, maybe NSO Vember, because he is, um, non-skating official. He's a non-skating official and their shirts are pink. That's what he dyed this from. Um, that might be the the name of the yarn. I can't remember if that is for sure, but it probably is. NSO Vember. And it's Faraday Sock Yarn. It is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. Guess what I'm going to be working on as soon as I finish my Christmas socks because I'm really, really excited about this and I already kind of have a plan. Not really, but I know that I'm making them for Melissa and 
oh, going to be no. in Michigan in January, so I'm going to want to give them to her in January since she bought my me this mom, yarn that I just mom. wanted in my life. On to books I'm reading. I finished book two and book three of The Mists of Avalon. I hope that book four is still at the library when I go tomorrow. Um, I didn't think I was going to get through two audiobooks in a week, like two longer audiobooks in a week, and then I did. So I probably should have picked up the fourth one last week because I finished this one early, early this morning. I finished Knitting Rules um, Sunday morning, yesterday morning, and so I started this one. This is the last book that I have from the library. Um, Philippa Gregory Changeling. I'm not very far into it. I am, I've made it through chapter one, started chapter two. It's okay so far, but I'm only 20 pages in, so not much to say about it. On to three favorite things. And this is my three favorite things to do besides crafting and reading. Because obviously you can tell I like doing those. Um, number one is journaling. This I'll show you the page that I am writing on in my journal right now. This is the journal that I have right now, and um, as you can see, I write all over it. I used to write in my journal pages every day when I started writing back in high school, but now I don't have time to chronicle pages every day, so instead... This is a journal entry. This is a journal entry. Well, not the faces. This is a journal entry. My sister and I were talking about maybe getting tattoos that were that went together but weren't matching. She's going to get the frowning face, and I'm going to get the smiling face, and I just drew a quick sketch because that's the paper I had. These are patterns. <laughs> pattern, pattern, pattern that I designed for this nerd wars. Yeah, socks. This is my list of things to do every day. Socks. Those are socks. He is socks. See? Please go downstairs. See? Socks! <laughs> but this journal is almost finished. I just want to record a podcast. Okay, so... 40 pages might last me through the end of the year. Don't worry, I have a huge stash. I have more journals than I have sock yarn just waiting to be picked up and used because I really, really like journals. I just don't have the time to write in them as much as I used to. This journal was started um, the third page. The first one is ripped up and in the front. Thank you, Mara. Um, Tuesday, 23rd of November, 2010. So, This will probably be done in the next month or two, and then I will start a new journal, which I actually already have picked out and have already started writing in a little bit. I'll show you what I started. Well, I don't have that journal up here with me, but I'll show you. Okay, so this is my sock yarn blanket plan for the first three rows. In my other journals, it has grid paper, so I diagrammed the whole blanket so I can have a plan for it, because I'm a really big nerd like that. Number two is baking. I really enjoy baking. If it goes in the oven, it's probably my friend. I'm not a great cook. I'm not a bad cook, but I'm not a great cook. But if it goes in the oven... Hi, Mara! Hey. If it goes in the oven, I, I'm pretty ace at it. I can make it. This is why things don't get done like I want them to, because babies, they just need to be in everything all the time. No, now you're stuck here. Um, and thing number three is music, which I don't get to listen to that frequently because Mara doesn't like listening to music. She wants the TV on and music off. She doesn't watch the TV. The TV has to be on, but she doesn't like music, which is really weird. She likes when I sing to her, but not to listen to the radio. I don't know. She's weird. She'll learn. She'll grow up and learn. She's only two. You have time. Um, anyway, yeah, so that was me and the kids and Molly all saying goodbye, and we hope that you made something awesome with your sticks and string. Hope to see you next week. Um, join the Ravelry group, which is Bunny Fish Crafts Podcast. 
Um, introduce yourself in the welcome thread so I can get to know everybody. And the show notes are at bunnyfish.wordpress.com. Okay, come here. Say goodbye. You too. Say goodbye. Bye-bye.